Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that this has been my standard hair color for pretty much as long as anyone's known me. I've never really changed my hair color other than like a brief stint of trying a spray-in pink conditioner, trying a like spray-in one day hair color, or trying the copper bronze hair color that I recently posted about. So I decided that I wanna try another color, so Cara Color recently launched a few new colors to their color conditioner line. If you're not familiar with them, they are a color depositing conditioner so that you can gradually change your hair color by just using these products in the shower. So they recently came out with two new products, the first being Mocha and the second being Honey. So if you're looking for more of like a natural hair color, you could try these. And I think I want to go brown before the weather warms up too much more and I go back to like my summer blonde color which is what my hair naturally does in the summer it just lightens so I think I'm gonna try the mocha and see kind of what a color effect I get using this one it looks like a cool tone brown so I'll be curious to see how it looks on my skin tone and if I'm feeling daring I might start adding in a little bit of the copper and a little bit of the red once I have my brown color to see if I get that kind of like warm brown hair color that I've been dying to try so I figured we would jump into this process together this is my starting color right here. So let's take this journey together and see what happens when we try the Mocha conditioner. Hey guys, so I'm trying the Mocha Cara Color and in the sun, this is what one treatment looks like. So it definitely deepened my hair to like, I would say like a mousy kind of dirty brown blonde color. So stay tuned for Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update on the mocha hair coloring process. So this is the way my hair looks after two mocha hair color treatments. I did the first one yesterday and the second one this morning. I left them on for about 40 minutes. I know it's longer than they say, um, but I find that it deep conditions and deposits the color if I leave it on longer on dry hair. So I've been applying it in the morning before the kids are up, putting it up in like a shower cap and then rinsing it out about 40 minutes later. And I just think that it really gives me like this rich color and my hair feels soft and healthy. And this actually looks really close to the natural color that's growing in. I would say that my hair is normally blonde by the time it gets down here because of sun exposure and heat and styling. But I would say my natural color is more of like a light brown color. Um, so I think that it looks really nice right now. It's a little bit flat because it's all one tone. So I may be adding some red or copper on top of it. So I'm gonna try this again tomorrow, see if it gets even deeper or if this is as dark as it gets and I will keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update on the hair. This is my third mocha treatment and then today I also added in a little bit of the copper and a little bit of the red to kind of warm up the tone and this is the exact color that I was looking for the first time. I thought that using just the copper alone would give me this kind of warm brownish tone hair color and I'm obsessed with it. It's not so red that it looks like I put red dye in my hair. It's not so orange that I feel like a carrot top. It's like the perfect combination of brown, copper, and red together, and I am obsessed with it. So this is the end color. If I decide not to play with it any further, I love it. So I am still a really, really big fan of the Cara Color Clenditioners. My favorites have to be the Mocha, the Copper, and the Red. But I also have Platinum, which I will try in the summer when I try to lighten my hair and go back to my like blonde, my baby blonde color. I also have Rose Gold and Pink that I might play with in the future. Right now, obsessed with this color, very happy with the products, can't say enough about them. If you haven't tried them yet, go out and get a color that is speaking to you, you won't regret it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Mocha color. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.